Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Alex Thomas here back with another video for you guys. Today I'm giving you guys my review and my thoughts on Transformers Rise of the Beast directed by Stephen Capel Jr. Um, and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it. Just got back home from the theater from seeing it. And yeah, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on it. Hope you guys enjoying uh, my, my, this will be the end of my Transformers series because I reviewed all the other movies. You can go check those out if you haven't already. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give you guys my thoughts. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, please hit that like button. Please subscribe for more. And let's get into the video, you guys. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, you guys. Like I said, this is Transformers Rise of the Beast directed by Stephen Cable Jr. And uh, I'm going to give you guys just a quick synopsis real quick. The story is about um, this guy named Noah uh, Diaz. And he's basically um, down on his luck. He can't find a job. Um, he's trying to take care of his sick brother and, you know, his mom and, you know, and his mother as well. And, um, you know, he... he basically is down his luck and he um turns basically goes to try to steal a vehicle and it turns out to be a uh silver and blue porsche and when he get into this porsche um and it ends up going driving by himself and um you know it turns out to be an autobot and he gets basically mixed into this whole autobots um you know mission that they have to get this key because if they get this key they're able to go back to cybertron and um yeah and also we got um um uh, unicron is is trying to basically you know be released he's trying to get the key as well and he's trying to basically you know do what he does suck all the planets to basically be the most dominant force in the universe and um yeah so that's basically the gist of the story um i'm gonna go to get right off the bat I really, really, really enjoyed this movie. I really did like this movie. I thought um, Stephen Cable Jr. did a really good job with the direction. Um, the way he shot this film, he did a great job. Um, this movie looks really good as well. You know, they, just the certain shots in New York, uh, he, he, the certain shots in Peru, um, you know, even the way he shoots some of the action sequence, he did a really good job with, um, with the direction. Um, if you guys, you know, he also directed, um, uh, Creed 2. So, um, if you, you guys tell me that the director of Creed 2 would direct a Transformers movie, movie, I wouldn't have believed it, but actually he did a really good job directing this movie. It does feel like he really knows what he's doing when it comes to directing the action, even incorporates some of the CGI even with the action. Um, and yeah, I gotta give props to uh, Stephen Cable Jr. If you come back and do another one, I'll be all for it. Um, let's go ahead and get into the performances. Um, the main guy who plays Noah, I can't think of his name off the top of my head. I know his first name is Anthony, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. But um, I thought he was okay. You know, I thought he was really good as the lead of this film. Um, you know, it, I love the relationship between him and his little brother. I thought that was nice little touching moments they have in the movie. Um, his chemistry with the, the, the girl, Atlanta, was also really good as well. Um, you know, uh, the one thing also I really liked about this movie is that the movie is pretty funny. It did have me uh, chuckling a lot throughout this movie. And I am love that it's not Michael Bay over the top humor. I love that they not they, they went away from that direction. Um, the one thing also I loved about this movie is that, the, the um, you know, this movie it is it's a really big story really that's in this movie but it feels kind of small cuz it does it helps that it's not a really big cast and everyone is like going all over the world and stuff like that like it's it's just these two characters meeting the Autobots and they're on going forward with this mission and I like that I like that you know it's, it kind of feels very a very simple you know through line story and I really do enjoy that you know it's not you know military subplots and you know over the topness happening in this movie so it's a very simple movie with these two characters being thrown into this this mission and you know i, I really did enjoy that the actress who played i think her name is elena um i thought she was good in the movie as well i thought she really held her own um as well like i said i know she's she's new and she was getting a lot you know she's not just now breaking through getting a lot of roles but i thought she was pretty good in this movie as well um let's go ahead and talk about all the autobots of course peter cullen is back as optimus prime and he's always good as optimus prime i, I actually i really like this optimus prime because his through his one mission is to get back to cybertron so he can win the war um and he's ruthless he doesn't like humans um you know he he really just he's he's ruthless he really is ruthless in this movie and i really do enjoy that 
Um, we got Pete Davidson as Mirage, and he was really good. He was actually really funny in this movie. I really love some of his lines and some of his line delivery as well. Um, he works really well with Noah. Um, I love that they paired them two. He's like, I guess you could say he's the new Bumblebee of this movie, and uh, Bumblebee is in this movie, but Mirage does kind of steal the show some at certain moments in this movie. Um, some of the other, um, I, well, I, I wouldn't call them Autobots. They're called, um, what the heck are they called? Um, they're called something else. They're not called Autobots. But, um, all the, the you know, the, the beast, basically, you know, the, uh, um, the other Transformers, um, uh, Optimus Primal was really good in this movie. Um, all the other beasts, you know, robots and stuff were really good as well in this movie. They didn't really get that much screen time. Only the only two of them got a lot of screen time. But when they came onto the scene, oh my God, yeah, it was all 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 holds bar when it comes to the action. Um, I, like I said, I do I love that you know, it 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 felt real when it comes to what they were going through and what they were doing. It didn't feel like they were. it was all over the top or it didn't make sense. That's the one thing I also gotta give credit to. It definitely felt like this movie made sense. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna just go ahead and get into just my one little negative. Um, the second act does move pretty slow. Um, of course, we get a lot of dialogue and a lot of setup and stuff like that. But I, I once we start getting to the third act, the third act and we get into our big action set piece, the last 40 minutes of this movie is straight gold. Like. Uh, of course, we see it in the trailer, the one shot of, you know, basically the, we're in the midst of the battle. It's great. It's great on the big screen. Um, you know, seeing all the Autobots and Decepticons and stuff fighting against each other is awesome. Uh, we got uh, Surge. Um, he's basically our, I guess you could say he's our big bag. Unicron is our big bag, but he's like the big bag of this movie. And um, he's really good. He's really good as the villain. He really um, holds his own, and he's he's a straight badass, man. He, like... Yeah, he's really good as the the main um, antagonist of this movie, um, and yeah, I, I think you know uh, Stephen Cable Jr. did a, did a great job with the action. Um, like I said, certain scenes in this movie just had me like going crazy in my mind. I didn't want to go over the top in the theater, but like I was like all for everything that was happening in this movie. Uh, I'm I'm loving that they actually get the characters involved in the action. I love that they did that. And like I said, I love that it's just like these two characters dealing with everything. Like I said, it's not a lot of over the topness and, you know, we got to bring every single military, every single thing jumping into this battle and stuff like that. Um, I love that it's just like it's just kind of like a simple story with just these two characters saving the world. And I love that. Um, so, yeah, um, overall, I really did enjoy this movie. I thought the movie was pretty funny. Um, Steven Kevin Jr. did a great job with the direction and the action set pieces. I thought all the actors and the voice actors did a great job. Michelle Yeoh shows up in this movie as well. It's crazy when you look at the cast list. We got Ron Perlman, I think, plays one of the uh, Octopus Primal, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I think that I think everyone did a great job like i said pete davidson was really good and i'm i'm iffy on pete davidson like i'm i'm not a huge fan of his and he was actually really good as mirage in this movie uh i thought bumblebee shined when he needed the shine um you know optimus prime was optimus prime he's always great you know he always shows up so yeah um if you guys have seen transformers rise of the beast let me know what you guys thought about in the comment section below my fiance freaking loved this movie she was hype as hell when we got in the car so that's a really good thing and um yeah i'm very glad she liked it um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, please subscribe for more, and I'm on this one, you guys. Peace out.